hello, hello, and welcome to another Bargains by Bell auction. I'm your hostess, Southern Bell. Thank you ever so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. I'm going to have some merchandise you're going to enjoy seeing, enjoy chatting about, telling stories about, and maybe you might even want to throw a bit out there. But I am glad just to have everybody watch and chat and socialize and have a good time. So there's never any pressure to bid or buy here on the Southern Bell Nova channel. We have Lisa M. Adventure. Thank you so much for being here to moderate. Crochet Queen Kathy. Hello, hello. Carla. Always great. Great to see you, friend. Christine Perry, always glad to see you as well. Brandon. Brandon is Lisa's nephew, and he's starting a YouTube channel. Shelby, oh, Shelby, thank you for the sweet little cupcake emoji. That's so sweet. Shelby's my favorite teenager. Okay, so let me make a few channel announcements here as we start a new week of auction the Southern Bell NOLA channel. So we'll have Bargains by Bell Auctions on Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. as always. We're going to have the third episode of the Shell and Bell Show Sunday afternoon. So after you get home from church and have a little lunch, put your feet up and do a little home shopping via YouTube with Shell and I. And then and I'm going to have to cancel this week's Tuesday auction um, because, of a week, um, because I do still have a real job. I'm not a full-time YouTuber yet. I okay, think so that's going to happen. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so the week. Oh, one other. Usually I have y'all vote on my YouTube community page for the next week's theme. But since we're not having a auction on Tuesday, what I decided to do instead is run a contest for a prize. So the way it's going to work is I am asking y'all to come up with a fun theme and you explain it out, you give it a name, and then let everybody vote for it. And the way you vote is by clicking the heart. So for instance, um, an idea that I had a while back, which y'all have never voted the winner, so it might not be a great idea, is I had an idea for an animal theme. I think they called it all about animals or animal adventures. And while I would have had some, uh, you know, pet clothing and items for pets, most of the idea was animal motifs and logos on other things, on, on keychains, on towels, on home decor, on jewelry, on purses, on anything and everything. So just like that, when you write in the YouTube community post, you give it a cute little name, you explain what it is, and then everybody who likes that idea can heart it. Whichever idea at the end of next week has the most ideas, your idea will be in the poll. Can't guarantee that it'll be in the poll, but just for having the winning idea and getting in the poll, I'm going to add a prize to the box you have going out. So whether you bought just one thing or tons of stuff, I'm going to add a so that's how it's going to work. And I cannot wait to read your fantastic ideas on my YouTube community, Joanne. Okay. So now that you've heard all the announcements, um, let me go ahead and give you the official and legal stuff I need to tell you. So, um, this is a real auction. You are obligated to pay for everything you bid on. All sales are final. All items are as it where is. The only time 
or you can rotate that you bid is to first fill out the registration form that is pinned at the top of the chat. Then you can bid in numbers in the chat. I don't have a representation that you were We're going to see on your invoice. The invoices that I use are the software by PayPal. But my payment is actually myself because there are absolutely no fees. And guaranteed you can't just walk in your local bank and ask about PayPal, but you can walk in your local bank if you ever have a problem with Zelle and get over to talk about it. Um, I do accept PayPal, even though there are fees, and even though there are fees on shipping. I hate to charge more for shipping, but that's the way PayPal does it. PayPal is how you can use your debit card, your bank card, your credit card, your Visa, Mastercard, American Express, and even Venmo. The method of shipping that I use is called Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship is a discounted shipping system that works with UPS and USPS in order to get you the lowest discounted rates. Um, those rates are calculated based on three criteria. The weight of the package and the dimensions of the package. The bidding increment for tonight will be a low $1 increment, except during a fun round that starts the show called Bill's Bargain Bonanza. And during that round, we will lower the starting bid to just one buck. And we will lower the bidding increments to just 50 cents. Now, I try to have one of these at the top of every hour, although sometimes I get carried away selling things and I'm a little behind. But not only do I try to have one per hour, anytime anybody in the chat puts the letters B, B, B in the chat, um, I will spontaneously throw up an item or items and have a Bell's Bargain Bonanza just to reward the brave person who requested it. Okay, let's see who's ready to get started. I say, laissez bon temps, which means let the good times roll, roll in your life, roll in your heart, roll in your soul, roll on and on and on. Okay, so we'll get started tonight. Um, you can see I've lined up some super cute items. Um, if you missed the last viewer's choice auction, it was called Hearts and Kisses. Although I have to tell you, <laughs> I never actually got to any of the kisses stuff. Um, it was a shorter auction and I had more heart stuff than I realized. So therefore, um, if you were one of the people who was waiting for the lip balms and lip scrubs, lipsticks, lip glosses, and so forth. I apologize that I didn't get to that. Okay, well, tonight I've got wooden signs and decor. And some of you may say, well, this was probably left over. More stuff you didn't get to. Okay, guilty as charged. <laughs> All right, so let me show you these signs. Um, if you want them to be a sign, they can. If you want them to hang from a doorknob, they can. If for some reason you do a Valentine's tree, you could do that. If you want just the highest quality tag, you, you could do that as well. Um, you can see they are made from wood. So this first one says, love, sweet love. We've got hugs and kisses. I guess I don't need to pick them up. Always be mine. Um, I have some candies here. If you prefer to uh, buds, do the talking to your vine. Here in the back, I've got, got a cute wooden truck that says loads of love. We've got some hearts in the back. Once again, it's a nice thick piece of wood. And then last but not least, I've got these uh, 
cute little XOXO signs and they have connectors. So if you want to tie them around the package, if you want to string them up from one side to another, they're nice thick wooden blocks. So I'm looking for $1 starting band. Did my moderators get that in? Oh, wait, did they even announce that the spell spark in Bonanza? Wait, can y'all hear me? I'm starting to get scared when y'all don't talk to me. Or I talk about Bonanza or the prices or the items. I start worrying that y'all can't hear me. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Okay, Lisa says yes. Okay, <clears throat> thank y'all. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh, and Karen's got it in. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, well, let me see who wants to uh, be the brave person to start out with a $1 starting bid on any of this um, warm and fuzzy cuteness. Any of these signs of love, hearts, and devotions. Oh, thanks for the fleur de lis. That means so much. Lisa, Brandon, I appreciate y'all. That's right. I almost forgot that. Well, I wish he was here to sing him happy birthday. Well, if he pops in the chat, Shelby, I'll do that. Um, I think he might be scheduled to mod maybe tomorrow. Um, mod, you shall let me know. So we will show him some birthday love. But I'm sure he's out with his friends. Y'all know he's a bachelor and he's 30. So I am sure that boy has birthday plans. If not, he's got a loving mom and dad who are local to him. So he may have gone to their house. Okay. Last call on all of these items. Last call. Okay, the Christmas wooden stuff was so popular. I thought for sure the uh, Valentine's would be too. But for anybody watching replay, I'll let you know that I've got multiples of these wooden signs. I've got multiples of the candy. The XOXO are the only ones I have. And I only have one more of the truck that says loads of love in the background. So for those watching the replay, that's what I've got. So let me just clear these off and we'll get to the auction. Let's see what y'all would like to see tonight. Tonight, we're going to have some ribbon and craft items. We're going to have some linens, um, socks, decorative tape. Um, we're going to have some cookie cutters and specialty pans, some toys, some keychains, snacks, and jewelry. And of course, some various little whatnots. Okay, well, let me start with some socks. I don't know if we have any Batman fans in here. Um, I'm going to start these at two bucks. Very rarely do you see Batman stuff made for women. And you'll see it's got the Batman symbol, but it also has the Batman symbol in two different shades of pink. And these aren't the short little socks. These are long socks. So if you are wanting some longer socks, if you are a Batman fan or comic book superhero fan, but you're a girl, here we go. So this is a one and done looking for two bucks.
And as always, y'all let me know what you'd like to see. I'd hate for you to miss on something you wanted to see just because um, you were too timid to suggest that it get shown while you were here. Although I love it when y'all watch the replay and you can still order even after the auction is over if I have duplicates or if an item was a pass. And you can always send me emails with offers or bundles. Okay, last call on these socks. Oh, okay, next. I've got this huge set. Let's see if I can back, back, back it up. It, it is Marvel Spearman socks. It is 12 days of socks. So you're going to get 12 pairs of socks. Karen, we're, oh, wait. I'm sorry. I apparently went too fast. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Sometimes there's a lag or sometimes y'all need to think about it. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Yes, these are adult socks, adult socks. And you know what? I forgot to also show you the trademark because in anything about Batman, it is a division of DC Comics and it is trademarked. Okay, so Lisa is in for two. This is a one and done. So if y'all want it, you need to bid because I don't have any duplicates. The only other socks we're going to have tonight are going to be the marble socks I was about to show y'all. And it's a big, huge package. And it's for Buddy for three. Lisa, if you're having second thought, won't hurt my feelings. Okay, we are sold to Lisa. All right, so next fifteen dollars. I have a huge, which is by Marvel. It is twelve days of socks, so you're going to get twelve entire pairs, and you will see that they are size six to twelve. Here's the back of the box. Once again, size six to 12. And you're curious, what do the socks look like inside the sealed box? Well, here they are. Let's see, I may have too much glare. Okay, let me see if I can show y'all. So, 12 days of Spider-Man. So looking for $15 for 12 days of socks. And once again, they're going to fit a size 6 to 12. I'm not sure if it's better to put it on here. I'm going to put it on this side. I only have one of these. I did retail arbitrage it just today, and I debated as to whether I should maybe buy two or all three that they had, but I thought, I'm not sure if my audience likes superheroes, so I'm just going to get the one, and if for some reason it's getting more in, maybe I'll go back and get another for another auction. Uh, 
Oh, Shelby, the reason why adults wait to do laundry is um, trying to conserve water or just the time it takes. You don't want to run the uh, washing machine with just a, a pair of socks. You want to wait till you have a whole load, sweetie pie. So therefore, it's easier to get a whole load when you have 12 pairs of socks. I'll tell you, being single, I have a hard time getting a full load of laundry. But then I've got to go all the way to the laundry mat. So I'm glad I don't have to go too often. Oh, can y'all not see me? Hello, hello, Jennifer. Okay. Well, I tell you what, maybe I started this a little bit. Um, let's do a price drop on this. Um, price drop, price drop. Okay, let's drop these from 15 to 14 to 13. Let's see if $13 for 12 pairs of Marvel brand name brand socks great motifs and i'll show y'all a close-up again of these cute 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 spider -Man socks which will fit sizes 6 to 12. so that's basically everybody come on some of y'all know you've got guys husbands sons brothers, brothers-in-law that love the comics. I'll tell you, if I knew any of those guys from the Big Bang Theory or guys that live those kind of lives in the real life, this would be such an awesome gift for them. I could imagine Sheldon and Leonard wearing these kind of socks. Can I? Okay, we're going to pass on this then. Okay, next item ribbon two dollars for choice get y'all closer okay i've got white i've got colors my mother seemed to have this in so many different colors and textures and styles um i'll tell you there's basically two different types i'm gonna call it smooth and with loops um, it knows what smooth is. This is an example of what I, um, when I say with loops, the little loops on either side. Maybe I can do it this way. So y'all see how on either side of the ribbon, there are little loops. It's easier to see them. Sometimes dark ribbon. I can see it better on, on, yeah, I think you can. Do you see the little loops on either side? So I have the loops, which have kind of a girly girl, antique kind of a thing. If you prefer the, here's an example. This one's starting to come unwound. Here we go. So if you're a person that does fancy that you want to use actual ribbon, um, these are great for that. My mother was not a big fan of them. I thought that that looked cheap. So she, doesn't. she would use this kind of ribbon. So, looking for two the uh, ribbon um, that is and um, shades of a pink and magenta and burgundy as well. You're already thinking about St. Patrick's Day. I've got green. 
and some nice lunch for spring. And of course, white and cream are going to go with everything. Okay, last call on the ribbon. Okay. At the last auction, I accidentally spent the first 40 minutes showing y'all cards. Oops. Um, so you probably are going to be surprised that I'm going to show. Oh, oops. Hi, Sandra. Everybody will the trophy be ribbon. And can I see one white up close? Oops. Yes, smooth or with the loops, but I'll show you both. It has kind of a shine or sheen to it. I might have a glare here. Hopefully this is up close enough. And let me show you the kind with the little loops in the white. It is so sweet and so good. Okay. Hopefully then you tell me how to um, camera or focus the camera so that you can see what you need to see. I'd invite you to ask me a question, but I know nothing about crafts. So I think there is zero chance I could answer any questions. That's the only reason why I don't field questions about crafts or about most things because I don't want to guess and answer wrong. Okay, Sandra's in four, two. Thank you so much, Sandra. We'll just make it a buy it now and you just tell me what you want, sweetheart, and how many. Sandra's kind of like an auction ninja. I never know she's in the chive. I love that. She just waits till she sees what she wants and then she pounces. I just adore that. Okay. So we're sold to Sandra. Let's see uh, what Sandra chooses. White, non-loops, and a pink. Well, let me say this. Hmm. Let me show you the three pink that I okay in the pink the light pink has loops in the mauve i have one that doesn't have loops so let me know your preference on the pink and i'll grab a white without loops okay there we go hopefully this one's going to be to your liking. One of each. Okay, the light pink. Okay, the light pink does have loops. So I want to let you know that because I don't ever want any disappointment. Light pink. You'll see next to the white, it's just the slow of light. Oh. Okay. Thank you so much, Sandra. I really appreciate it. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for letting me know that because I'm always afraid. Of it. All right. So I had cards at the last auction, and they were starts from a great. Y'all can request BBB cards. I have an upgraded version of a card, and you're saying, "Well, Belle, I'm getting a reflection." 
everything tonight. Oh, okay, you're saying that looks smaller, not larger. I mean, it's covered in plastic and all. How is I heard of something called a pop card? Pop up card. That's what this is. And I've got a couple of different types. I'm going to open up just one because they're very delicate. Um, here's the back that shows you what it's going to look like. Here's your envelope. Here's the actual card and a $2 starting bid. And when I open it up, look. Ta -da! And not only does it pop up, but I'm not sure if y'all can tell, the bear is fuzzy and furry. Can y'all maybe see the fuzz and fur on it? It. So not only is it textured, and the whole thing, if you notice, is just, is just made to bend perfectly down. And when you, um, when your recipient opens it once again, it's going to pop up. It is just a feat of nature. So let me show you the few I have, and I have very few. I want to warn you, I have very few. So if you want it, bid. This is the one I have of the one in the bear. So that's the first choice. Second choice is this little honey. Let me show you how it opens up. Super cute. So that's the honeybee one. And I have just honeybee. And then last but not least, look at this one with the fox and the bear. And look at all it opens up to be. So many uh, pieces and projections. Super elaborate. Uh, just one of the bear. I've got four of this one with the fox, the raccoon, and the bear. Back up. There we go. So $2 starting bid on pop-up cards, pop-up cards. These are kind of the creme de la creme of cards. Brand new, sealed in plastic. These are good. Going to be cards that people on their side hey, look what i got for valentine's day look what my fill in the blank sent me my because hard is a gift it is such a work of art okay karen's in for two okay christine's in for second choice anybody for three remember i've got limited quantities and you never know how many some of first choice may take so a bear a honeybee and a trio of animals which is a fox a raccoon and a bear And I, I can tell you, if you're going into the Hallmark store, American Greetings, these are a lot, lot, lot more than two bucks. This is what I call small but mighty. Lots of greatness packed into a small container.
Okay, Prince going to take the only bear, and she's going to take the trio of animals. Okay, so these two sold to Karen. Thank you, thank you. Okay, and Christine is going to go with a white. I'm thinking she means the trio of animals. And a honeybee. Okay, super cute. Thank you, thank you. All right, so I've got one more honeybee left, and I've got two more of the cute trio of animals. Hi, Casey. Welcome, welcome. Okay, anybody else? Last call on the cards. And if anybody is still looking for other cards, let me know for a future BBB round. I can bring out whatever cards you need. They'll just have to let me know. Okay, let me clear these away. All right, next, do you all use shopping bags when you go shopping? I tend to shop at a lot of stores that uh, don't have bags. So you have to bring your own. And I kind of like it um, in that it saves the planet, of course, but those thin little plastic bags, they just rip so easily. And when you have these brand new reusable bags, they are just way more sturdy. So these are going to be $2 for choice. Here's the first one. It's got these cute dogs and look, they are wrapped up sharing a scarf. Is that just not the cutest ever? Super, super, super cute. And look, it's in snow. Snow, glorious snow. And also, speaking of snow, those of y'all who don't know, I've never seen snow. So snow is like on my bucket list. Snow just seems so great to me. I know people that have snow take it for granted or say, oh, don't say that four letter word. But I think that it is beautiful and charming. So I've also got this Dickensian looking village. Um, covered with snow and pretty trees. It's a nice winter scene. So I'm looking for $2 for choice. They are both reusable shopping bags. So maybe you always forget yours and you need to keep some in your car for when you're shopping. Or maybe you give gifts in these because these will hold um, more. They are super weight bearing. And you will see they fold out to be a nice big size. And they are um, reusable and recyclable. So looking for $2 for choice. Okay, Sandra's in for two. And I do have multiples of these. I've got two of the dots and I've got four of the um, Dickensian Village. And Christine's also in for two. And I have to tell y'all a little secret. That is something else that's on my bucket list is to go to the Dickensian village because I love the old time Charles Dickens. And in Galveston, Texas, they have something called Dickens on the Strand, where for one weekend, everybody dresses up like the time of Charles Dickens, 1800s England. And they put on a London accent and they have plays and everybody in the shops and the hotels and the restaurants all plays along. It's like a Renaissance fair, except instead of it being a general Renaissance um, where everybody's from different countries and slightly different time periods with different accents at Dickens on the Strand, everybody is embroiled in... England, 1800s. So that's on my bucket list to someday get to go there and attend that because I read about it all the time and think I want to go there someday. 
Okay, once again, um, I have two of the dog and I have four of the Dickensian village. Did we count this down? Anybody want to go to three? Otherwise, we'll pick in the order of bidding. And to see an accurate representation of bidding, make sure that if you're on a computer, you are on live chat. Because if you're on top chat, it's just going to show your own chat at the top. And if you're on the phone, make sure you are on all chat. And of course, that your little red line at the bottom of the screen is pulled all the way forward so that you are assured that you are watching the item I'm currently showing. And if you have haven't already click the thumbs up please oh please click the thumbs up that helps ever so much with the youtube algorithm okay sandra is going to go with one dog okay here's one dog for sandra okay that leaves me with one dog and four of the snow covered village oh thank you for the fleur de lis Okay, Christine's going to go for one with the trees. Great. Okay, anybody else? I've got one more with dogs left and three of the snow-covered village left. Anybody else? Okay, thank you so much for those purchases. Well, from big bags to fancy small bags. I've got two packs of gift bags. I'm gonna also have these for $2, but it's for a two pack. These are velvet. And you can see they're all securely tethered together. And they've got a beautiful snowflake and they have um, raw strings on them. So red, these would be great for Valentine's gifts. Gift card fits in well, jewelry fits in well. I've also got royal blue. So a two pack of high quality velvet bags for $2. There's something about putting a great gift in an exquisite little bag, or if your gift is a gift card, maybe your gift is a note. Um, maybe it's a love note to your spouse. Maybe it's a shopping trip to that child or grandchild. Something about even if your card is a note, um, maybe it's plane tickets, but yet, you know, you don't have the tickets yet. You write a note, hey, trip to wherever it is you're going. Somehow it is nice to still have something to give. And that fancy little note can be in a cute little sack. My mother was one of those people that liked to write a note as a gift, but she would always put it in some kind of a box or bag um, so that we had something to open. Even when she got to the point where she couldn't go out and shop, she would still have a gift of the thought or a gift of the heart. Okay, any interest in these?
or if anybody needs a bunch, I tell you what, I will sell you uh, two for three dollars. So if you need a bunch, we can do two for three dollars. So let me lay out two of the blue, two of the red. So if y'all want a bunch, um, I'll offer it two for three dollars. And really, when I say two, I mean two packages. So you get four. Four for three dollars. So let's try that and see if that is more to somebody's liking. If not, we'll get a move on. Still to come tonight, I'm going to have some more ribbon. I'm going to have some artistic printed tape. I'm going to have some towels and linens, some DIY Valentine's kits some toys, keychains, lip products, some necklaces. Oh, good night, Brandon. Thanks so much for coming. Oops, I'd actually said two for three, but we'll just clear these away. There's not interest. Okay. Next, we're going to have uh, $3 for choice, and it is fancy printed tape. Here's the first one. It's by Tape Trends from Art Skills, and it's got these gold and black pyramids or triangles. Next, for you um, pet lovers, look at these cute little paw prints. Super cute. So these are $3 for choice. Next, for those of you who like kind of a marbleized look, we've got that right here. Uh, this is also marbleized, but it's darker. Oh, and these are the brand duck tape. So these are also going to be really sturdy. Next, I've got a multicolor. This multicolor is pinks, purples, and blues. Pinks, purples, blues for the girly girls. And this one is yellows and greens and red. So $3 for choice. Hi, Danielle. Didn't y'all love Danielle's beautiful sapphire glittery background for today's thumbnail? Wasn't it just gorgeous? Okay, last call on the tape. If worse comes to worse and this doesn't sell, you'll be seeing some of these tapes on your packages. <laughs> That's one thing about investing in tape. If it doesn't sell, I can always use it to tape up the packages. Oh, I think this is one of the art tapes. Yeah, this one is a art skills designer tape. So the first two are the designer tape, whatever that means. And the last four are these heavy duty. But that would be <laughs> so funny. So, okay, I'm going to clear these away. Next, I've got this spool of metallic um, pearls, I'm going to call it. 
It's kind of a coppery color. Um, five dollars. This is a one and done. Not quite sure um, what my mother used these on uh, or was going to. They are apparently four millimeters by 15 meters. I'm going to say that's meters, 15 meters. So looking for five dollars for this entire spool of copper colored string of pearls or beads. Maybe I should call them copper colored beads. Maybe that might be better. Y'all know, I don't know squat about crafts. So if I use the wrong term, y'all forgive me, pray please. Okay, any interest? Anybody staying in for the cold, doing a little DIY or crafting? Okay, well, I just have one, so maybe somebody watching the replay will see this big spool and say, I really need that in my life. I have something to do with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, let's just get out of the way. All the stuff, I don't know what it is. This is clearly a five pack and it seems to be some kind of like yarn or thread or um, it can say what it is. Because clearly mother bought this in bulk. Oh, maybe they don't have enough light. Okay. Let's see what the label says. Should have started there. Okay. The label says that this is Yarn Art Begonia. Of course it is. 100%. Um, Iron Sport 2, number 3. <laughs> Okay, maybe that means something to y'all. Um, here's part of the label this way. I tell you what, since I don't really know what it is, there's a large quantity here though. Look how big each of these is. Let's just start this at 10 bucks. If y'all know what this is, then y'all can bid it up. I'm gonna start this at 10 bucks. That's like two bucks a roll of this stuff. And you can see there's tons on each of these rolls. So whether it is a thread or yarn or a uh, string or uh, I don't know. Oops. Oh, look, here's something that we can actually read. This one says 100% oh my. So anybody for 10 bucks. Ten bucks or best offer. I should always say that when it comes to craft stuff. Ten bucks or best offer. Thanks so much for popping in, Danielle. I really appreciate you and I so appreciate the thumbnail. Oh, prayers for your sore throat and your headache. That's been going around. Okay, thank you, Christine. I appreciate that. Good to know. We grow cotton on the farm, so I should know that. Okay, I'm going to pass on this. Because you all know, know how uncomfortable crafts make me. All right, uh, $5 for choice, and I've got some fancy ribbons. Uh, here's the first one. This roll apparently was $20.99, but um, I'm going to start it at 5 This is a velvet ribbon, and look, it's got those metallic um, beads or pearls on the edges. 
So that's going to be the first choice. And it may look black on screen. It's a uh, burnt. Second choice is this velvet one in a blush color. And it was apparently $16.99 at whatever fabric store mother was mine. These, so help me. I'm going to add straight for that. Okay. Um, uh, next, I've got a couple of red. Let me see. Does it say how long it is? There we go. A two and a half by 75 yards. And y'all just look at that. It is tons and tons and tons. So red for Valentine's Day. Then next, I've got this pretty aqua color, great for Easter. And it is, oh, sorry, sea foam. Of course, it's sea foam. I think that says 66 meter. No. The meters are down here. The oh, 50 yards. Oh, okay, 50 yards. There, so five dollars for choice. So we've got that. Oh, and one more. I'm pretty sure this is antique. It's Kind of this ingenious where it's a combination of lace and ribbon. Do you see how the back is this ribbon? And then there's top, but therefore you get the lace with the backing. Oh, here, here we go. Creative craft floral ribbons. It, so help me if I just read it'd be easier. Lace fan, can't see it. Let me try. try it over here. All right, Sandra's in the back. All right, well, let's count this down and keep it going, please. Five, six, seven, Okay, she's going to go with this massive red one. Great choice. All right. Anything else or anybody else want to choose? Okay. Any other interest in the ribbon? All right, let me clear these away then. Next, I want to show you a little boo-boo. I don't know if y'all have ever been opening a package and you cut through a little too um, much. I was opening a package and I cut just barely through the top layer here. Ugh. But there are still underneath layers that are going to be fine because there's a lot on this. Um, I always thought raffia was spelled with an R, but here it's spelled with a W R, which I thought was interesting. Um, but I bought a mixed lot from a reseller, and this is one of the things in it. So since I made a little boo-boo, I'm going to start this at just two bucks. 
two bucks. There's still a good bit on it. I didn't cut all the way through. Just the top, top little bit. Just the top little bit. Anybody for two bucks? Because you can see in here, there is. Okay, there's a hundred yards. And y'all can see, I didn't cut it. So anybody for two bucks. And it's on this nice spool. And it's color fast. It is easy to work with. It enhances gift packages and floral and craft arrangements. It is by Berwick. Okay, any interest in my little boo-boo? I figure it might be still worth something. If not, somebody can make me an offer. All right, let's go back to some more of Mother's Crafts. Okay, she had what I think is the world's largest package of chenille pipe cleaners. These come in green and... Well, actually, there's two shades of green and red. Two shades of green and red. So it's like perfect for Valentine's and St. Patrick's Day. Let me show you how many is here. I'm not sure if this is 100, 200, 300. I don't know. It's a ton, though. So I'm going to start these at 10 bucks because this is huge. Oh, and I'm also going to throw in these fancy gold ones. She had these gold ones as well. So I'm going to throw in the gold ones. You can probably see the colors better through the back. Okay, any interest or any offers on the pipe cleaners? Okay, last call on these. Next, I've got some crafting scissors. I'm going to start these at $5. Now, if you've never seen these before, instead of cutting straight lines, they cut um, shapes. Um, used to, they were called pinking shears, but now it's not just the zigzag of the pinking shear. Um, they will cut a shape. Um, let me show you. Here's a piece of paper. And look how beautiful that edge is. So if you're making an invitation, making a tag, a menu, even just a nice note, uh, you can do also great for journaling and scrapbooking. So that's the first choice. And even look at the negative part you cut away. This could be used for them. So here's the first one. Here is the second one. I'll show you the shape it writes. So here you go. Here's this second shape. And the third shape. Okay, 
And here's the third one. Now, I don't cut very well. You could probably cut straighter if you weren't leaning over towards a camera. So here's the third one. Okay, so you've seen the three shapes. Any interest? So once again, this was the shape of this one. And this is the shape of this one and this one. So you can see one is smaller, one is larger. Okay, anyone interested in the various um, shaped pattern cutting scissors? And as always, if anybody wants to buy more and save more, that's always an option. Okay, let's clear these out. Yeah, don't forget to give me a up, pretty please. And helps ever so much with the YouTube algorithm. Okay, I'm going to show some makeup bags now. These are going to be $5 for choice. Hi, Cool Ranch. Okay, here's the first one. This is the only one that has three compartments. So let me show you the compartments on this great makeup bag. Or it could be for other things as well. Here's the first one. It's got a great animal print to it. Here's the second one. And then the third compartment is the top, which is the whole thing. And look how deep it goes. So here's your first one, the animal print. And you'll see the textures continued on the back. Next, this one is still brand new and in the package, but I'll show you what it looks like. You probably can't see it. Hello, gorgeous. And it's got a nice little crown tiara there. And here is the inside. It's got a beautiful black, uh, shiny satin material. And let me put this back in the case to keep it pristine. And it is um, labeled on both sides with the Hello Gorgeous. Oh, thank you for offering Cool Ranch. This is still $5 for choice. Okay, here's the next one. It is quilted material. No particular name brand on it. It's just gorgeous material that is beautifully quilted. Look at the diagonal stitching on it. It is brand new. And I have multiples of this one. Let me open it up. Oops, take out the packing and show you the inside. So whether you want to use it for makeup, for pens and pencils, for a uh, travel set, for your toothbrush and toothpaste, so much you could use this for. And then last but not least, at the $5 price point, I've got these beautiful um, crocodile type print. It is textured. It's a patent leather. And it's actually a wristlet. Look at this nice wristlet, ample um, room for your wrist. I've got a huge wrist, as you can tell, and it fits even my big old wrist comfortably. Let me show you the inside of this one. It's also going to be available in another color. It's got a beautiful black lining to it. I have this in a bunch of other colors, and they have just sold out. And I've also got it in this kind of pumpkin orange color. Okay, so those are the choices at the $5 price point. No, don't fall. Come on now, work with me. Work with me here. <laughs> oh, okay. Anybody for $5? And 
it's probably going to be a super short auction tonight since we have um, fewer viewers, but I will um, keep showing as long as there are requests of stuff y'all want to see. And I see we are in the second hour, so we'll have another Bell's Bargain Bonanza round right after this. Okay, any interest for the $5, or if anybody wants to buy more, save more, that is always an option. Last call on these. Okay, then we're going to pass. All right, well, let's have a Bell's Bargain Bonanza round. In this round, we're going to lower the starting prices to just $1, and we're going to lower the bidding increments to $0.50. Cents. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. We're always glad to have more help, and your presence is always a present. Okay, so here's the first one. It is Valentine's Gel Claims. Second, I have a cloth novelty bag. And I know some of you are saying, well, I usually use the paper bags for my gift bags. And I totally understand that. I mostly use paper. But here's an example. If you're given something like a candle, this candle, which is um, 18 ounces, this is going to rip through a bag. But yet, if you put this big, huge candle in this fabric bag, it's going to be able to hold the weight of it. Does that make sense? And I've only got one of those left because um, those seem to sell every time I show them. Okay, for those of you who need multiples, I've got a 16 count of treat bags, and I like these because they're drawstring. So if you don't wanna have to worry about tying them up with some kind of string or ribbon, hey, easy peasy, drawstring, and it is a 15 count. I've got a 16 count, and these have a zip top. So once again, don't have to worry with the uh, ribbons. For those of you who want a colored background, this is the only one I have with a colored background. And it has this pretty aqua color and a red truck for you truck lovers. And this one could be Valentine's or it could just be a kid's party bag. Um, it's got hearts, but it also has balloons on it. This I do have two of. This is also a treat bag. This is also a drawstring bag. So once again, if you don't want to bother with the ribbon, here you go. Drawstring. So those are the choices. Oh, is it? It got up into the 60s down here, although it's dropped back down to the 40s. Okay, so looking for a $1 starting bid. If y'all haven't um, clicked the thumbs up, please, oh, please go ahead and do that. That helps ever so much with the YouTube algorithm. Yes, $1 starting bid for this Bell's Bargain Bonanza round. Thanks so much for checking. So once again, the choices are uh, gel clings for windows, a Be Mine fabric gift bag, 
uh, 12 count treat bags, 15 count, 15 count, 16 count, and 15 count. So if you're doing something for everybody in your office, everybody in your Sunday school class, everybody in your kids or grandkids class, sometimes you just need some quantities. Okay, last call on these. Okay, Cool Ranch is in for one. Thank you so much. Thank y'all everybody for being here tonight. Please, oh, please click the thumbs up to help me out. Okay, I would like an assortment of six of the gift bag packets. Okay, well, we'll do one, two, three, four, and five. I actually only have five. I'm sorry. But I will sell you the five I have. Do you maybe want the fancy uh, fabric one as the six? It's really a, a high quality bag. But if you want the multi packs, I've only got five. So let's see what Cool Ranch says. And Lisa will get down with whether she's going to take the five or she wants to add the fabric to make six. Okay, go ahead with the fabric. Yep, you're going to really like that one. Okay, so I've still got the gel clings left if anybody's interested. All right, let's go back to the auction. The next item, my beloved mother handmade. I'm going to start this at three bucks. Three bucks. And you can see it, it's a vintage item because she did not make it recently. Now, at first I thought maybe it was a vast ornament. Um, and just look at the eyelet, I believe it's called lace around the edge. And, and here's one she made in red. And see, it's got this fancy fabric around the edge, a stitch around the scallop. And then here's a pink one. I realized what it is. Let me see if I can turn it to the back. Let's see if I can turn the light off. Do y'all see that there's something in between? And when I looked at it, I got out of a magnifying glass. I realized it is scented rose petals. So she was trying to make a hanging sachet. 
So they are actually scented rose petals in between. Now, I don't know that those scented rose petals have much scent this long last, but you know, you could take it from the back and um, add a little scent, add a little essential oil. But I think that this is just darling with the lace, with the ribbons. So I'm not sure if anybody is into other people's crafts. Uh, um, the enjoyment was probably in her making these, but if anybody is interested, $3 starting bid. I've only got one of each, so it's one and done. Okay, any interest in these handmade ornaments or sachets, vintage crafts, made with love. Okay, last call on these. All right, we're going to pass then. Okay, next I've got this huge pack. Look at all of these, these, these. They all come with a ribbon to string them up. These would be gorgeous, in my opinion, to put on um, gift bags if you were making them. Or you could tie them on every little um, drawer and door in your kitchen. Um, this is a huge packet of 60. So you're going to get 60 of these little hearts with words and they come with 60 pieces of red ribbon as well. So I'm going to start this huge 60 pack for 10 bucks. Because if you took the time to to cut these out of cardboard and to paint them and to label them with kiss me and text me and cutie pie, um, XOXO, it would take you forever. Oh, this one says soulmate. I'm not sure if y'all can see that soulmate. This one says hug me. Um, even if you didn't want to tie these on, how cute would it be just to take these and make a little path through your house? And then, you know, when your husband got home, you, you know, had a tray of chocolate covered strawberries or a bow on a gift or maybe just you dressed up in something he'd like, dot, dot, dot. So these would be super cute to mark the path to where you are or even to a beautifully drawn bath. So, because there are 60 in here, so you could really make a nice long trail. Or like I said, they're really meant, they have the little holes and they have all the ribbons to tie them on with. So even if you were using a plain paper bag, all of a sudden when you tied this on, it's going to become a Valentine's bag. And as always, we can do a best offer on this because I would hate to see these just be sitting around. Okay, we will pass on those if there's no interest. All right, next, how about some DIY kits? Okay, this one says Be Mine, and it's a cute little truck. And this is a five count. So let me show you how this works. They've got all the pieces in here, all the gems and studs and all the instructions. And you assemble it. And when you assemble it, it is five. Next one is a, another five pack. We're going to start these at five for choice. And it, it says love. And it's a hot air balloon. Look how cute. Oh, and Cool Ranch has a great idea. 
uh, make a garland across your fireplace. Absolutely. Great idea. All right. So any interest in these DIY kits? After this, I'm going to have some smaller kits for a smaller price, but these are the big five packs. After this, I'm going to do some two packs. And I do have two of the truck ones available, just one of the hot air balloon ones. So a fun Valentine's craft. And as always, if anybody wants to buy more and save more, that is always an option. Okay, I'm gonna pass on these. Next, I've got gnome kits. Now these are two counts, so we're gonna do these for $2. Here's the first one. It's uh, red and white. And here's all the pre-cut pieces. And look at their cute little noses. So, or if you prefer pink and red, here's the pink and red one. And look at all those gems and jewels. Okay, so $2 for choice. And you can choose from the pink and red packet or the red and white packet. So if you don't have somebody to celebrate with, you could celebrate with one of these little gnomes. Who needs an elf on a shelf? You could have a Valentine's gnome on a shelf. Okay, any interest in the no's? Last call on these, and we're going to go to some Wilton products. I'm not sure if we have any bakers in the house, but if you like baking Christmas cookies, why not Valentine's cookies? Okay, let's pass on these. We're going to do $5 for choice on the Wilton. Okay, here's the first choice. Wilton is the premier name in baking. This is a Lips Comfort Grip Cutter. And here's what it looks like. And here's what the cookies you could make with it look like. Look how pretty. I never thought about actually writing the word smooch. I thought, oh, you just have to make them pink or red. But look how pretty they look with white pearls. But they do have some pink and red suggestions down here, down here. Here's all the information. So $5 for choice. This is the first one. Mwah, mwah, kiss on both cheeks. Okay, so that's the lips one. I also have a classic heart, also by Wilton. You'll see it's nice and thick. It's got the comfort grip as well. It doesn't have the little header on the back. Okay, next, also by Wilton, we have what's called a Sweetheart Favorites Cookie Cutter Sets. So here's a heart that has three little hearts inside it. Maybe you've got three kids. Maybe it's Father, Son, Holy Ghost, because um, God is the greatest love of all, the only unconditional agape love that there is. And here's another cookie cutter. And look, it's got hearts in 
for directions. Here's another heart that says love on it. Not sure if it's coming through on the screen. And this one says, I love you, literally spelling it out. So that's going to be the next choice. Let me put it up here. Oh, by Wilton. Here is another one. If you weren't sure what size heart you needed, well, we've got all of these sizes. Plus, if you wanted to use these on other things, um, my mother used to use a small cookie cutter and would cut butter into hearts. So you can cut other things as well. You can cut sandwiches, you can cut bread, you can cut toast. We always had a heart-shaped toast for um, Valentine's morning. That's one of those things my dad would do. He was the breakfast um, person in the household. He was great at breakfast. He was a morning person. And he would use these to cut the toast. So that's going to be the next choice. For those of you who like to make the mini cakes, I've got a mini cake pan. And if you notice, there is a dimensional heart in the center. I'm not sure if you can see it. You might be able to see it more on the reverse. So if you're a person that wants to be able to see the outline to do the icing, or maybe you want to fill it with something. Um, this one is specifically designed for that. And last but not least, I've got the little miniature slice. Because sometimes you want individual desserts, especially if you have certain people that need a uh, flour-free cake, flour-less cake, or gluten-free, or something different from other people, but you still want them to have something special. I'm not going to stand up. So I'm looking for $5 for choice. Hey, Joel's Choice. So nice to see a new viewer. Thanks so much for coming by. Oh, Play Doh. Okay. That would be a good idea. And, you know, you could also bake bread or buns in these little pans as well. Doesn't have to be sweets. Joel, where did you hear about my auction? Do you mind if I ask? I'm always trying to figure out where people are. Um, seeing and hearing me about. There's no wrong answers. I'm just curious. Okay. Last call for choice of these Wilton um, baking and cookie products. Cool Ranch is bidding. Okay. Thank you so much. you're not already a member of my discord discord is another free platform just like youtube and just like you can join as many youtube channels you can join as many discord channels it's a great way to socialize to network private message voice call video call
Okay, we are sold to Cool Ranch. Here is one of the lip cutters and two of the pans. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Okay, last call on these. I do have two more of the lip cookie cutters if anybody is interested. Everything else is a one and done. Now, when you're eating cookies, what do you eat them with? You know, if they're sugar cookies, you might want hot chocolate or you might want tea, maybe even hot milk. But what do you stir it with on Valentine's? Or what do you stir it with just for every day? Let me show you the cutest little spoons that I have ever seen. And Mother has a whole package of these. So they literally look like a heart. And the um, handle also a heart. I think these are just precious. So let me see how many I have of these. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she bought a service for eight. So if anybody is interested in the this service for eight, I'm going to start this off at $10. Have no idea where she got these. I have never seen heart shaped cutie little spoons before. But whether it's for hot chocolate, tea, coffee, you name it. I think these would also be super cute just for a tea party. Just for a tea party. Whether it's just an everyday tea party when you have the ladies over, or maybe it's one of those fancy Alice in Wonderland theme parties. Um, just beautiful. Or maybe you make up little gift baskets or bags and you have a cup and you want to put a little spoon with that cup or mug and maybe a little tea bag in there. No, there's there's no name on the um I look from you'll see no names. Just the heart and the three little dots. So it's well designed but not name brand. No, if it was name brand, it would be multiple dollars per spoon. <laughs> okay, looking for $10 for the set of eight. But my mother loved to find things that were um, extra cute, that had a little bit of extra design, because everybody has spoons, but who else has hearts? Kind of like when we showed the heart glass plates during the last who has it's shaped like a heart. So she just loved special stuff, especially for the holidays. Okay, last call on the spoon. And if there's any offers, y'all can always email me. Okay, next we're going to do some keychain duos. That's right. A set of two keychains, $5 startup. So on these, you're going to get two. One says no matter where, no matter when. So whether it's for you or your spouse, you and your bestie. Here's one specifically for as besties forever. Here's the next one. 
think be a great way to announce a new um, pregnancy or new expectation. Um, maybe it's going to be a pie that you and your spouse are like two peas in a pod. Or maybe you have, so that's the next choice. And I do have two of that one. Here's the next one. This one says side by side or miles apart. You are always in my heart. That's so sweet. Even rhymes side by side or miles apart. You are always in my heart. Okay. Next one. And, and last but not least, this one is from the children's place. Not that you have to be a child to use it. This one is suggested for backpacks because it has the... Um, release latch fob and it's got butterflies so the others are specifically key rings these have fob to them so looking for five dollars for choice and each one is a set of two Okay, any other um, requests for tonight? Okay, let me clear these away available to those watching the replay. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I've been having dry lips, and this repair pack by Spa Scription, okay, so this is going to be $5. Buy it. Let me show you what it is. Um, it is a set of a scrub with a lip mask and you're saying well how do they work and i don't want something gross smelling or tasting on my lips well the top one is scented like gummy bears and the bottom one is scented like cotton candy so i'll tell you from using these the hard part is not licking your lips the hard part is not tasting it because it smells so great so the top one is to exfoliate all of that dead, dry skin off that is breaking and chapping and peeling. So you need to get that off so that the good skin underneath it can regenerate. And then underneath it, this is for replenishing because the underneath layer that's still soft and supple, you can finally get to it and you want to take good care of it. So $5, buy it now for this two-pack of lip scrub and lip mask. Lip scrub and lip mask. And once again, um, the top part is exfoliating and it smells and tastes like gummy bears. And the bottom is the moisturizing. And it smells and tastes like cotton candy. So $5, buy it now for this whole two pack lip repair set. Okay, Lisa's in five. Lisa, how many? did you want? 
and I, I still have more if anybody else is interested. I have six of these available. Yep, it was a buy it now. So we'll see how many Lisa wants. Anybody else? Okay, just one. Anybody else need a little lip healing, a little lip repair? Anybody else want to get ready for all those Valentine's smooches by getting your lips soft and supple ready for those kisses? Okay, last call on this one. And y'all know I'm joking. It's not just for getting ready to kiss. It's just for overall lip wellness and health from the cold air. Because I've got nobody to kiss and I still use this just so my lips don't feel dry. Okay. Next. I've got some makeup sponges. It's a six pack and you'll see you put your finger through this little holder and these are great for putting on foundation, for smoothing out a cream foundation. If you use a cream foundation or even a liquid foundation, or if you do any kind of um, a self tanner, um, great for that, or even just as a blender. So I'm going to start this six pack at $5. And it comes in this great hard case. I didn't put it in this hard case. It came in this hard case. It's still sealed, but you'll be able to use this hard case to store other things as well. So I found these at the liquidator recently. So it's a six pack for $5. And the shape of these makes them ideal for makeup. Because with the points, you can get in and around the crooks of the eye and the nose. In and around the eyebrows without actually going through the eyebrows. In and around the hair without accidentally going through your hairline. And even when you're trying to get, you know, under the chin in that jowl area where you can't quite see, but you know everybody else can see, especially if you're tall. And I love that some are white and some are black so that you can use them for different colors and shades. So you'll know, oh, this one's this foundation and this one's that foundation. Or this one's for blending and this one's for applicating. Okay, last call on these. I've only got one. Okay. Next. I don't know about y'all. But when I use um, my shower, I have a shower curtain, but to keep it cleaner, I have a shower liner. So um, this shower liner has a... Um, Here it is, a size of 72 by 72, which is a standard size. So I know some of them come in the 52 by 72. This is not the small size. This is the full size and it's um, a liner. So it's just a plain kind of clear, kind of white. Um, it's not meant for show. It's not supposed to have a pretty pattern. In fact, if you put it on the inside, nobody's going to see it but you. So $3 for this shower liner. Oh, bye, Sandra. So glad you could come tonight, sweetheart. Thank you so much for being here. So shower liner, just three bucks. And I 
I tell you what, I will make this choice. That's the first choice. Then the second choice is a, a two pack of foot peel mask for baby soft feet. So that's going to be the second choice. Oh, hi, I see you. Oh, so sweet. Thank you. We can always use more hugs. And another time you can get those cyber hugs from her is Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time during our new Shell and Bell show. Okay, looking for two to $3 for choice. Cool Ranch is in for three. Anybody want to go up to four? Otherwise, Lisa's going to start counting this down. Okay, we're sold to Cool Ranch. Let's see if she wants to buy the shower liner or the foot peel mask set up too. One of each. Okay, fantastic. Sold out. Okay. Next, I've got some two packs of lip balms. But I sold all out of these around Christmas, and I realized I still have a couple few left. So, you know, sometimes we think of lip balms as being for girls, but they can also be for boys. They can also be for Batman fans. And you'll see that the flavors on these are blueberry and... Oh, I'm not sure I can read the second flavor, but I'm sure it's going to be just as yummy. So this is going to be the first choice, Batman Lip Balm. And I have a couple few of those. Uh, $2 for choice. Um, Y'all were talking about stringing some of the hearts up for the mantle. Well, this one... Um, is just specifically for that. You'll see there are two little um, holes and there's the ribbon included. So these are specifically to string up along the mantle and you'll see they're shades of burgundy, blush, and red in here. So that's going to be the second choice. Next, I have these fun lipsticks, which are new in the package, and they're literally shaped like lips. How cute is that? So, and hopefully y'all can see the shade. It's kind of a rose um, kind of a shade that'll basically work on everybody. So there are those. Oops, can't get it all in the picture. Let's see if I can squeeze it in. So there are the three choices, looking for $2. So two Batman lip balm, a uh, set of felt hearts to string up as a garland or some lip shaped 
lipstick brand new in the box. So three great choices for the $2 price point. And for anybody who may not have seen the last episode of Shell and Bell, Shell came up with this great idea to have a 15 minute $1 round each at the beginning of the show. So make sure everybody tunes in right at the beginning or you will miss $1 bargain. Okay, Cool Ranch is in for two. Anybody else? Okay, we're sold to Cool Ranch for two bucks. Let's see what she chooses and how many. Okay, she's going to go for the heart garland. Excellent. And two of the Batman lip balms. Okay, here's two of those. Thank you so much. Okay, so I've got one more Batman lip balm left, and I've got a total of three of these heart-shaped lipsticks. That's what I've got. Anybody else? One more two-pack, and three of the fancy lip. Once again, here's how it looks. In fact, I could open one of these and show you. This is what it looks like when you take it out of the case. Just imagine pulling this out of your purse. Such a statement piece. People will be like, wait, is that lipstick? Where did you get that? That is such an amazing shape. So after all, why shouldn't the tube look as fancy as as the lipstick. Call on these. I've got one more of the two packs of the Batman lip balm as well as the lipstick. Okay, we're going to clear these off. Next, I've got a three pack of these lip oil kits. Three dollars, buy it now. It's a one and done. Three dollars for the Sayot. I see you. Bought it for three. Thank you so much. Okay, two dollars for choice on some lipstick. Here's the first one. It's by NYC. It's called Liquid Lip Shine. And the shade is called Rivington Rose. I'm not going to try to read y'all all the shades because my eyesight is just not good enough for that. This one I can clearly read. It's called Pink Carrots and it's Wet Shine Liquid Diamond Liquids by maybe it's Maybelline by Revlon. I've got this nude colored one looking for two dollars. 
by a cover girl. It's called Natural Nature Lux. Nature Lux. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, we gotta set it over here. Okay. Four choices. I've got multiples of the NYC. All the rest are one and done. Okay, I see you is in for two. Okay, we are sold, sold, sold. Let's see which one or one she wants. One of each. Okay. Here is a, a um, duplicate of the If anybody else wants a duplicate one, that's the only one left. And I'll show y'all, I have two more of that one, and that's it. And it's such a pretty color, too. Thank you so much, I see you. Anybody else for Rivington Rose by In Liquid Lip Shine? Okay, Lise is in for two. Did you want one or both? I'm guessing one, but you never know. We might even see Lisa in this lip color. Oh, they're the same color. They're the same color. They're duplicates of the same color. Okay. Sold to Lisa. So I've got just one left. Anybody for the last one? Okay, whatever Lisa doesn't want. All right, so Lisa will add this last little orphan to ICU's um, pile then. Thank you so much. Okay, next I've got this cute little troll. Look at this little sweetie pie. I'm not sure if anybody collects these. I think they... Oh, how sweet. Gift alert, gift alert, gift alert. That's so sweet. Well, I somehow think if she's wearing it, she's going to be giving a little shout out. I see you in some future videos. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I love it when y'all are generous to each other. Okay. I don't know if we have any troll collectors. Um, I'm going to make this a $3 buy it now. And look at the little hearts in the hair. So pretty little pink skin, pink hair, hearts in the hair. Such kindness and generosity. I love when women support other women. So nice. Okay. $3 for this cute little troll. Oh, good night, Kathy. Thanks so much for being here. Okay, any interest on the gnome? Okay, last call. All right. Who needs a craft project or a DIY? You know, we see wreaths all the time. Have you ever 
ever seen a grape vine wreath that was made in the shape of a heart? Well, this one was made in the shape of a heart. You will see it is all tied up fancy. It is woven, woven, woven. And you could use it like this. Although I think it was probably made to have ribbon strung through it. Or maybe flowers. We start this one at $6. I don't know if I can make it stand up. So I'll start this one at $6. Oh, Carla's still here. Okay. And see a project. If you can just imagine um, being some ribbon into it, lots of room at the top for a nice big bow. It's a one and done. It's a project my mother apparently had in mind, but just never got around to. But I haven't seen anything like this before. Maybe y'all have. But I think it's such a novel approach to a wreath. Yes, it's just six bucks. And you could really even use it like this. It's got great country appeal. It's got kind of a farmhouse vibe to it. So if you wanted to use it like this, you absolutely could. I'm a, a, a um, Gil was thinking about what it would look like with flowers or with ribbon or with a uh, tool or other things. But this could just be sweet on its own. Okay, last call on this one. Okay, this was going to be another project for my mom. It's a um, she may have used for it, and it also has a heart and metal, and it is like a thick, heavy, substantial metal. And once again, you could add a candle ring, you could add bows, you could add greenery, you could add whatever you wanted to. So I'm going to start this one at $10. You just don't see this kind of decoration for Valentine's very much anymore. So I'm sure this is vintage. I do not know how old it is. And who doesn't want a little candlelight dinner for a night? Absolutely, a, a centerpiece. Well said. Okay, any interest? Okay, let's pass on this. While we're talking about centerpieces, um, let's talk about tablecloths. You know, you a beautiful red tablecloth for um, that Valentine's dinner. It, this could also work for your patriotic holidays. This could work for Christmas. I like this one in that it has some pretty little metallic threads to it. 
The size is 60 by 84. This is made by Wendy Bellissimo. And here's the information about um, the size and how it fits. So I'm going to start this one off. Oh, no. I just saw a um, rats. Rats, rats, rats. Nope, there's a flaw in the back. Not for sale. Okay. Um, instead, uh, table runners for choice, five bucks. Here's the first one. It is yellow and white and new in the packaging. I just got this from the liquidator. This is not vintage. It is brand new. So I'm not sure if it's coming through on screen because it's yellow and white. But if you like floral motifs, if you have white dishes with gold accents, this would be gorgeous. This is going to be the first choice. And then if you like daisies, look at daisies on here. Also brand new. Just got this from the liquidator. And I have two of the daisy one and just one of the yellow with white flowers looking for five dollars oh it's no, no 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 um it's messed up i tell you what i will send this to you free um but do you see it it has a little tear mark i think um, it must have gotten slashed when it was opened from the case. But if you can do anything with it, maybe cut it into napkins. I'll send this to you free. I am so sorry. But maybe you can do something with it. Okay, I see you is in for five. But you can probably cut it into some napkins or maybe uh, a couple of pillowcases. You're that kind of craftsy lady that you can make use of some of that fabric. So I'm glad to have a place to send it rather than just disposing of it. So. This kind of makes you want to get ready for spring, but really these could be used all year round. Which one are ones? Okay. She's going for one of the days one. I didn't ask if it was one or both, just one. Okay, anybody else for this um, yellow with colors is really not showing up as beautiful as it is. Okay, last call. Okay, next we're going to have some um, choices. Five dollars for choice. Okay, the first choice is a two pack of kitchen towels. It's a blue and white gingham. It says "Home Sweet Home," and there's a blue band at the bottom. And then on the back, it's this beautiful blue and white print. So it's a two pack of kitchen towels. 
And I do have two of these available. Second, we have, look, a beautiful dove with some flowers. And the first kitchen towel has a cute little polka dot. And the second one is yellow and white striped. So that's going to be the second choice. And the third choice is a um, pot holder that says gather. And I'm going to add a second pot holder that says gather and a, oh, I'm sorry, an oven mitt. Sorry, that just shows how little I cook that I don't know oven mitts from pots. So an oven mitt that says gather, a second oven mitt that says gather, and a little pot holder that says gather. So two-piece set, two-piece set, three-piece set, looking for $5 for choice. Well, it's good to be busy. You know what they say about idle hands. Okay, looking for $5 for choice. You're right, Lisa. You're right. I just used the wrong term. I do know the right term. I just used the wrong term. You know, sometimes you're thinking about other things or sometimes you misspeak. My apologies. I'm human. I make mistakes. Okay, any interest? Okay, last call. All right, I'm just going to do a couple more items and then we're going to call it quits. Okay, next I've got a cute table runner. This is going to be a $6 buy it now. Now, it's got this cute little blue truck that says fresh and local. It's got a beautiful um, trim with these little scalloped edge pom-poms on it. Here's what it looks like when it is on your table. How cute is that? So that's one choice. Or if you're saying, well, I like that, but I would need more to go with that. Well, I've got these placemats right here. Let me show you these cute little placemats. So it has the same delicate little um, scalloped edge pom-pom. It's got the farmer's market, fresh and low. So you'll get a set of one, two, three of those. So you can choose between three placemats or one table runner. Or you might just... So here's the second one. Here's the third.
And then I'll do a couple of towels and then I'm going to end it for tonight. Oh, thank you. I see you. I appreciate that. And y'all make sure to mark your calendars for Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time for the Shell and Bell Show. And don't be late so you don't miss that dollar round at the beginning, which is 15 minutes for Shell, 15 minutes for me. So it's an entire half an hour of $1 bargains. Okay, next towels, $3 for choice. The choices are Home Sweet Home, Mushrooms and Acorns, or I've got Teal, and this one is super thick, and it also has sort. This one, I do have two available. Okay, Cool Ranch is in for three. Let's see what she wants. If there's anything else that anybody else wants to see, let me know. Okay, she's going to take the home and two of the teal. All right, great choices. Anybody for mushrooms and acorns? I want everybody. We'll have another tomorrow night. I want to thank my moderators, Candy's and Adventure, Cool Ranch Dorito, and I see you. And I hope to see everybody tomorrow at 7 p.m. And 